<laughs> it's okay to live in the transition. Not everything has to be perfect right away. my channel my name is becca so today we are just kind of get into everything today is the first day that we don't have a ton of errands to run we've been just kind of going 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 that's why i didn't upload a video on tuesday i have a really slow morning my husband went to go get coffee so that'll probably be my second cup of coffee we're gonna do homeschool i'm gonna start cleaning a little bit i do have a video to edit to go up tonight so I'm gonna do that a little bit before we start school just to kind of finish a little bit of it. And then we'll just kind of see what we get into. I will take you guys along with me during my day. If you are new here, I'm a stay at home mom of two. And I upload a ton of cleaning content or just mom content. Honestly, I'm just gonna start saying that because I just wanna include whatever I do during my day. So I'm gonna get myself dressed just to kind of stay at home. We might run one errand later um, and then yeah, we'll just kind of go throughout the day. So if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. I do upload on Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Let's get our day started. Typically on days like this, I do like to wrap up the kitchen. I do try to make it a point to reset the kitchen after each meal. Does not always get done, but I especially do it for breakfast and dinner. I do not like to leave the dishes piling up. It's honestly just easier for me and less overwhelming. So I will try to reset after homeschool. I used to do it right after breakfast, but I find that it just kind of flows easier once they get the boys done with school and everybody's settled down and they have an activity to play with kind of gives me a little bit more free time to wrap up the kitchen and then i'll work on things that i need to get done i like sitting at my desk because sometimes my desk is the table <laughs> so today i made it a point to just sit at my desk and just sort out a few things for youtube finish a video i'll pay bills make appointments look at next week's school plan and just things like that so i'm gonna go ahead and get that done finish up what I need to do. We did decide to run a super quick errand. I wanted to see if I could find some curtains for the kitchen and I also wanted to find some mattress protectors. I haven't been able to find them recently for my kids new beds. So they are in bunk beds now so we are almost out of the toddler beds which is so sad. So we just popped into big lots. I didn't really find anything too exciting. I found exactly what I needed so I'm just going to show you a little bit of what they had. I always will stop at the clearance section. They always have some really cute items. Nothing that I needed to take home today, but it's always fun to see what you can find on sale. to me to me it seems 
seems like you like me too. We can take it slow, make sure we do this right. Cancelled all my plans to be with you tonight, tonight. So just sit. just kind of nestled in a corner in your kitchen. They were so warm and cozy and I loved the frame of this photo. So moving on into the curtains, the actual curtains that I have in our kitchen window are completely see-through, which I love because I like looking out into the backyard and they're almost this style. They're very sheer, but they actually don't block out any of the sun and it gets rather warm in the kitchen, even though it is a relatively small, tiny window. I wanted something that was still going to be a little bit light and bright, but a little bit heavier just to block out some of the natural sun. So I found, I was looking at these two and I ended up going with this lighter version. They're a little bit thicker, I'll show you later in the video, but they do a great job at keeping out majority of the sun, but still something that I can see and enjoy the view out in the backyard. found everything we needed. Of course, I'm gonna finish my coffee from this morning. I decided that we were gonna do a crock pot dinner, something super simple. Again, this is a sports night for us, so I just wanted something to be hot and ready as soon as we walk in the door. I can make the rice prior, so I threw a ton of beans, I think four cans in total, with kidney beans and one can of white beans with a ham shank. It was already cooked, and growing up, my husband and I, my mom, both of our moms would make this meal and it's just kind of like a comfort food. So it was nice to make that as something super simple. Throw the seasonings in of whatever you like. You can buy them pre-cooked or you can buy the ham hocks that are raw and they cook with the beans low and slow and it's such a simple meal. But honestly, it is one of the most comforting meals. So I'm gonna quickly throw that together.
So I have actually never used a pre-cooked ham shank before. This one was had like a smoky flavor. I do prefer to actually use the raw ham hocks. They actually, for some reason, I think they stew down better, but this worked out. It turned out pretty good and it was honestly nice to just try something a little bit different. Opening these curtains, the valance, the three tier valance at the very top, I was actually a little surprised. It's a little bit longer than I had anticipated. So I'm gonna have to cut that and hem it with the like fabric tape i'm just gonna make it super simple but i'm gonna throw everything in the washer and then i'll put those together later Um, waterproof things if you're new here we just got bunk beds for my kids like a month ago and my youngest is still transitioning out of his toddler bed back here once we can get him in this bed fully it's pretty high off the ground um then we'll get rid of the toddler bed and I can finally decorate their room I am not a fan of hanging things like above their bed area so this wall can't figure out <laughs> this wall over here is gonna have all of their toys and we picked out all of the stuff at Hobby Lobby but I just don't want to purchase it and store it until we're ready to like actually put the bed in its final place in the room bring all of their toys out I want to put like a little table so when we do school and like totally redo this room so for now we're just kind of living with blank walls but it's okay <laughs> it's okay to live in the transition not everything has to be perfect right away I like having mattress protectors on our beds i have one on mine and my husband's and i wash it all the time it's great so i'm gonna test them make sure it fits in case i need to go back and get a bigger one they do have twin beds but i know sometimes twin and full can get kind of mixed up so hopefully they fit i'm gonna throw them in the washer and i actually need to take my son's car seats apart those need to be washed we've been traveling a lot <laughs> so they're grubby Chasing fame and being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better Shoes up, 
if I want Let yourself be free and maybe you will find that there is more to life than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like Okay, any moms out there, let's talk car seats. Car seats have to be one of the most just, I can't even explain it. Car seats are so incredibly difficult to clean. You have to have like 15 different little brushes or attachments to your vacuum. You can see I'm literally just like jamming the vacuum <laughs> into all the nooks and crannies. And yes, it's easy to say, you know, hey, my kids don't eat in the car, but that's just not me. If my kids are hungry and we're going somewhere or we're on a long trip, then guess what? We're all going to eat in the car because everything can be cleaned up and it's super easy. Is it easy to clean out the car seats? Not all the time, but when they do need a deep clean, it is definitely a labor of love. So I'm super happy that I got that done. I'm going to go ahead and take out these little tiny tension rods. You guys, these curtains I put in here, oh gosh, probably like the second week after we bought the house. And it was a ton of panels that my sister-in-law gave me. And there was this one sheer panel and I desperately needed something in this window. So I cut up that one panel. I cut it so short and I cut it in half and we just made it work and I never replaced it. <laughs> so here I am. I'm just going to go ahead and try putting them in the window. They came out of the dryer a little bit wrinkled, so they need to be ironed, but I was just so eager to see how they looked. They actually turned out really cute. I wish I had space for the valens, so I'm trying to figure out the correct length. I am, again, going to have to trim it and just make it a little bit shorter, but for now, they work, so we're just going to live with it. So much better. So you can kind of see at the top of the window there's really not that much space it would completely close off the window so i'm not quite sure if these are gonna be here full time but throughout the summer they're gonna work you can see they block out quite a bit of the sun so i want to get some tie backs but they are a lot better at blocking out a lot of the light to when it starts hitting that super super hot weather i don't want to be standing in front of the window <laughs> here's how dinner turned out it turned out great we served it over rice with fruit on the side it was really nice to have leftovers for a few days i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was a little bit of everything stay tuned for monday tuesday thursday and sunday uploads i will see you guys in the next video i hope you have an amazing week and don't forget to give yourself grace